Hello and welcome to another Black Desert tutorial and this is good to go over the character creation process. It's a very in-depth um, process. It's one of the most uh, in-depth character creators I've ever seen in a game and I'm very impressed by it. I will say that uh, for those of you who are watching who don't like blood, some of the videos in the bottom right hand corner have blood in them. I, I do have blood disabled in my game but the videos still display the blood so if blood is something that does bother you I wanted to have that in front of you up front so that you knew and that you, you can click off the video and uh, click on a different video if uh, that is something that does bother you. So anyway, to the character creation, we're going to go ahead and click the character creation button. And we're going to click yes to create a new character. And we first have to select our class. We have eight different classes currently available. In the Korean version there are 12. These are Warrior, Ranger, Sorceress, Berserker, Tamer, Valkyrie, Wizard, Witch. And there are others that are in the Korean version like Ninja and Plum and Kunuichi, which is basically a samurai, I think, and others. And if we click on each of these classes, uh, we see this little hexagon that tells you basically what that class is good for. We also have the bottom right-hand corner, you see a video of that class fighting, as well as a description of their fighting abilities. Uh, in For the warrior, for instance, he's he's got, and I'll, they pretty much line up with these lines, so I'm just going to give the line number. I'm going to say this one is 0, 1, two three and four so the warrior has a two for attack a two for control a three for defense a three for combo a one for evasion so he doesn't dodge he does a lot of combos he's got pretty good he's got awesome defense decent attack and control we can compare this to say the tamer that i like to play as and she has like a 0 0.5 control she has a zero defense so she gets hit and she gets hurt a lot she has a 4 combo, so she does a lot of combos. She's very combo based. Uh, she has a 3, maybe a, th yeah, it looks like a 3. A 3 on evasion and then a 3 on attack. So she does a lot of damage, she dodges well. She does a lot of combos, but she can't control people and she uh, doesn't take a lot of damage very well. So there you go. That's how you read that. And we have two buttons down here back, and that goes back to the character selection screen. We also go to create. So we're going to create. Uh, this warrior dude here. Uh, there's buttons on the screen, little circles. There's horoscope, weather, customize, and character action. Uh, this horoscope, as far as I can tell, is completely just flavor text. So you click on one and it gives you a little flavor text over here. Uh, I haven't seen that it does anything functionally in the game that I know of. If I have missed something, please let me know. Uh, we also have weather, so you can see how the character looks in different types of weather effects, which is pretty neat. And then in the customizing button, this is where most of the action happens. So before we get into that, that's the in-depth mode, let's look at, we can look at positions and you can have them stand in different positions and kind of see how they look in their costume, standing in different poses. It's all nice and fun. And there's several pages of these. So <laughs> he's getting a little bit into that, that laughing. There you go, combat mode, combat mode, yawning, just different stuff like that. Um, so here we have customize. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is kind of important because the customization is so in-depth. There's not really an undo button. You're going to want to use this save functionality in the bottom left. So temporary save lets you save what it currently is. So I've, I've made two temporary saves. I can click this one and it'll go back to the first temporary save, which is identical, so it didn't really change. Also, I can save a file permanently onto my hard drive so that I can then reload the customization data later. If I really like a certain look and I want to come back to it, I can save and load it later. I don't have to rebuild the whole thing from scratch. I can also restore to default. If I don't like anything I've done, I want to go back completely to default. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have the uh, character name, the uh, creation complete completes whatever you've done with the character. It's a permanent appearance. Um, and then we have class selection goes back to picking what class you want. We can see the naming policy and it'll tell you what you have to, how you have to name your characters while any limitations. And then character selection takes you all the way back to the character selection screen. If you look at the top right hand corner, you can see that it gives you instructions on how to move the camera around and move the character around. So I can rotate the character. I can use mouse wheel to move the character around. I can zoom in and out to his face if I need to really work on his face. And then uh, finally, 
that's how you move around the character finally we're going to go to the customization options and i'm going to go from less complex to more complex first we got voice which is pretty uncomplex we have one voice currently and then we press that button he doesn't seem to have a voice but if they do have a voice you will hear it and then we have hair shape so here's his hair he's got a little spiky thing going on okay so we can change do different hairstyles check out different wigs basically or different hairstyles not really wigs uh different hairstyles that you can style his hair in cool beans so this looks like a pretty good like little ponytail hairdo then we got shape um some class especially the some hairdos especially the female hairdos you have the ability to actually make you know style the hair like make it uh, style it out so like make it um, flare out if you want to or give it more volume or things like that with most of the male hairdos it's like you know guys don't care apparently and so you can't really do as much with their hair you can adjust the length for instance you can shorten all this up if you want to if you don't like the long look you can shorten it all the way down and look that's the tiniest tiniest little little uh, ponytail you've ever seen or you can make it longer again also if you like curls you can put a little frizz into the hair and you see the frizziness that's really super frizzy and then you can dial it back and say i just want a little bit of curl you can do that you can mess with these sliders a little bit and say i want it to look kind of like maybe just a little bit of curl a little bit of wave and here i've given him a little bit of wave in his hair maybe like a 10 14 is too much clearly for what i've done here five looks I mean that that gives you a little bit of curl you can do that you can do that you can also i don't really like the curl by the way so i'm going to take the curl out no oh, like that color you can choose all the different colors and we're going to stop him from looking at the camera now so stop it there you go that view button at the top left lets you make him look forward and you choose hair colors you got low you got the whites you got the black hair styles i think that is a pretty decent black hair there maybe a little little white maybe that's a little better his eyebrows are clearly blonde but you can fix that later uh, you can add shine so if you wanted to shine or not you can add that like you see a little bit of shine in the curls in the uh, uh, hairs down here got the different reds yellows blues oranges browns greenishes purposes pinks greens really dark greens really 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 bubblegum pink and you have that all kinds of stuff all kinds of colors and customizations and i'm only clicking on some of these you can just go lighter and darker on all of them uh and add shine take away shine so let's uh let's give them that blonde hair again got the hair ends so if you want to uh, well, if you want to give like a uh, give the hair extension, oh, not hair extensions. You give the highlights that um, my main character has. You can basically say, well, I want to have black hair, but I want to have the hair ends be red. And so you can give them little little red highlighting or or um, orange highlighting, or maybe blonde. Maybe you want to have a little blonde ends like this, and then you want to make it a little brighter. You, know, you change the dye color slightly. You change how big the highlights are, how much they cover. Maybe you only want this like icing the ends down here. Or maybe you want it to cover all the way up. It also covers the back as well. You can see it kind of shines in there. Or you say, no, I want I want to have blonde hair. And then I want to have like black ends at the end. You can do that too. Kind of give it a darker appearance at the ends. You see that? And also hair. So it, uh, if you do if you do this, you, you end up with... If you do all everything blonde you can also say well i want to see more black and maybe i want, to ha I want black roots and you do that and it gives a little more texture to it it doesn't just look completely blonde uh, you can do that looks like the guy dyes his hair a little bit that's what it looks like to me there you go black roots blonde hair so we can do that close that next we can go to uh the face shape you can adjust his face shape uh da, 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 da. here's face face different just different faces now we're about to get into the body settings and just fyi for those people who 
may, I don't know, who may be bothered by it or maybe, you know, um, don't like it. Um, they, he is going to be in his underwear when we change the body settings. So when we customize his body, we have to be able to see kind of his muscles and everything and how they're going to look on the character. So we, we are going to be adjusting it that way. So just fair warning. That's something that you don't like to see. That's coming in the body settings. So let's see. That's pretty good face. We can change his skin shine, make him ultra sweaty, constantly sweaty, or just completely not sweaty. We can change his skin color. You got everything from blue and white and pinkish. Got your, uh, you got your uh, black skin tones. So we're going to go with the uh, black with blonde hair. That looks pretty cool. We can do, let's see, we already did shine. Facial hair, so if we wanted to have more facial hair, we can do that. Going to throw on some blonde facial hair with density. So, got a little goatee at the bottom there. Or a must mustache. We can have a mustache. Some of these things aren't going to show up as well on, on the black skin tone. So, I'll, for now, I'm going to put it on, on white skin tone just so you can see it a little better. You see the mustache there. And we can do the shine. So, if we want sweaty mustache, we can have sweaty mustache. And we also can have area. How big do we want? How Basically, how thick do we want the mustache to be. And we can even make it in different colors. Like, black mustaches clearly show up better than blonde mustaches. So, we can have a black mustache. Clearly, he's dying his hair now because he has a black mustache. We, we know that for a certain now. For a certainty. Face shape. This is where it gets kind of crazy. You can actually modify each individual piece of the face. Um, I would recommend you play around with this. But at the same time, always be ready to um, reset your um, reset your face to what it originally was. And you can do that with one button press. So you can play around with it. I can make him really, really, really surprised to see me. Look at look at how surprised he is. He's he's very surprised right now. Um, but we can reset it. We can sort of reset one part and redo one part. So for instance, I say I want to mess with his mouth and make it like looking like this. But then I want to mess with this mouth, make it look like this. Well, I can reset that part since this part's the only one selected. I've selected that upper lip part. I want to reset only that part. I click reset part. And then if I want to fix what I did back here as well, I click that part and I click reset part. It goes back to default. And that can be helpful for, you know, really working on um, um, figuring out how your character should look. Here I've made him like really, really angry. He's angry looking. Give him a little bigger jaw, stretch that jaw out a bit. We can zoom him around a little bit. Look at look at that chin. That is a majestic chin. And we can click if we if we want to, we can click reset all and put everything on his face back to normal. We can go asymmetrical. So if you want to make some kind of guy that that has like something wrong with the right side of his face, like a little snarl, permanent snarl, but everything on the left is kind of clenched, make like a, a asymmetrical chin. And like a cheek that has some kind of like problems with it. Like caved in cheek or something. You can do that. And there he is. Or you can just reset that. Uh, also adjustable parts. So what this does is, is when you mouse over you see all these adjustable parts. Sometimes that obstructs your view of the character. You can't figure out exactly what you need to modify in your character. If you uncheck adjustable parts. Those things disappear and you only see what you mouse over. So I, can, uh, I only see the nose. And then I can uh, mess with that nose. Look, I've given him a crooked nose. And then I've reset the crooked nose. Like that. Adjustable parts back on. I can now see all the different parts I can modify. If you want to take, if you want to fine tune things, if you don't want to just grab and move with the mouse pointer, like pointing and clicking and moving, then you can uh, use the controller type. And right now, Whatever you have selected, you select these different things. That's what action the control, the, the mouse pointer will do. So right now I've got, I'm on the size, this is the size controller. I can make his nose big and huge and fat or tiny and little. But if I want even more control, more fine tuning, let's reset that part. Um, I don't have to, I don't have to do these controller types. I can actually just use the sliders and I can say, I want to move his, uh, the bridge of his nose not left or right, depth, up or down. I want to move it down. There we go. So I moved the bridge of his nose down 
You can probably see it better from this angle. Up, down, and then vertical moves in and out. So I can do something like that. If I like that look better than the default, if I like to have that kind of sloping nose, I can do that. And then I can just, I can keep fine tuning. This is the rotation. You probably don't want to do much rotation of the nose. You'll have a rotated nose and that won't be good. But on one of these, I'm sure I can make it where it gives more of, see, the, see this gives more of that sloping effect. And playing with the sliders is a great way to learn how to get these different uh, looks on the face. So I don't want to really rotate that part either. And then size, I can say I want to fine tune the size and make it really big vertically, really small horizontally, and really small depth. So there you go, I've made it big one way, but small two other ways. And I've done that all by using these sliders on the left. You see how he looks there, I'll turn off adjustable parts. You see how his nose, focus on the nose, how it looks. And then if I click reset all, see how that nose got bigger, the bridge came back in it didn't look like yeah it doesn't have that slope anymore he has that perfect kind of angled nose that you would expect on a pretty boy um that apparently they've designed this guy to be um next we have makeup so we have uh density is already zero because you know, a guy is usually not gonna have very much makeup but you can add eye makeup to this guy add density reflection shine area whatever and look at that all that shine, see all that glittery stuff? You basically can add glitter to the eyeliner. Um, this is probably more useful for most people. It's going to be more useful for female characters doing their makeup and things like that. But you can do it for a guy. If that's something that's part of your look. If you have like a big face tattoo, uh, I'm sure like some people are going to have big face tattoos of like skulls and things on their face. And then eyelash makeup is probably going to look uh, kind of fitting for that kind of like facial tattoo. You can put face tattoos in this game. We'll get to that in a second. Um, lips. So we can have different lips. Um, lipsticks, not lips. So if you see this, you can see you can add little makeup to the lips. So this, so that's kind of like a you got a little lip thing going on there. Crusted lip down there. Okay, that's full lipstick with glitter. <laughs> Uh, in different colors, of course, so we can have we can go full red lipstick. Uh, okay, we got to turn that off. <laughs> All right, I, there's only so far I can go um, before it just starts looking silly. <laughs> uh, eyes, so we got different eyes, like uh, different pupils. We got uh, circles, we got stars, we have um, lines coming off, just different kind of pupils, and. Got hearts. Look at it. We can put little hearts on his pupils, and we can turn up the opacity. You can see those hearts pure and correctly, or you can make it kind of fade in, you know, depending on how you want your eyes to look. Different sizes. You want to have that pupil take up the whole whole area of the eyeball. You can do it, or you can make it tiny, tiny, tiny little heart in the center. You can do whatever. There's so much, so much that you can do in this game to customize the look of your character. You can have a wide heart like that. Look at that. Now one thing is that I don't know that there's a, there doesn't seem to be a reset button on these kind of things. So like eyes and everything. So the only way to reset would be to change the face type or use your um, temporary save to reload where you were. So it'd probably be really important to go out of these screens, do a temporary save when you're happy with the character, and then continue customizing from there. Oh, by the way, there's a checkbox up here. I forgot to mention, if you want to see their face better and you want to be able to modify their face better, you can raise their hair and it'll just put it up for a little bit so you can actually see their facial features and modify them to look very specifically, and then you can put their hair back down when you're done. So that's how that works. Next, we have eyeline. So there's different eyelines. There's eyelashes. There's this one that says eyeline, and that's actually the top line of your eye and then you have the bottom line of your eye this is more makeup kind of stuff so if i click eyelashes i could click length i can actually lengthen his eyelashes or i can shorten them if i prefer him having shorter eyelashes i can give them different colors so if i want to have blonde eyelashes that's really really bright blonde or i can have him have black eyelashes that looks more normal and then we have eye line which is the top line of your eye this little part right at the top of your eye. It's, you know, you'll see women doing eyeliner right in that area, just coloring in that. Um, and you can make it deeper and denser like that. Give it different colors, like even red. 
the makeup simulation in this game is awesome. And then we also have <laughs> we also have bottom line, which is the little bottom line of your eye, and you can add more density to that, make it black, and you can see they're kind of you can kind of color it in, make a little cat's eyes a little bit coming out a little bit, and do all those kind of little customizations. Next we have tattoos, so you can add tattoos like little things like that. Facial tattoos, lines, that one's an animal of some type, this one looks like a skull. Okay, so we have the animal tattoo, and that has density, so if we want it to kind of be a little bit faded, we can do that. We can, add, we can invert it, and that'll invert the colors. So here we've inverted, and, and some of the black has turned white, just kind of do that kind of thing. Uh, we can also do like different color tattoos. So look, there's red, and it'll invert into white a little bit. So this this could be a really cool look. Here's a total like, <laughs> there's a total like cat look for you. Okay, turn off the tattoo. Next we have wrinkles. So if you want, if you're if you're uh, playing a character and you don't want them to look like a 19 year old fresh out of high school, you can add on. Um, Eye, brow, and frown wrinkles, and it, make, it gives them a little bit of an aged look. Get, uh, makes them look a bit older, um, not too much older. I mean, honestly, I wish I had these wrinkles. <laughs> um, I, I take that back. I, 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 well, I guess I, yeah, I guess I do have like the head wrinkles. You ever have the forehead wrinkles when you look look in the mirror and look surprised? And you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm when I say forehead wrinkles. Wrinkle, wrinkle your brow. Standby expression. So if you, right now, this is what your character will look like if you're just standing around not doing anything. Have a little bit of a smile, maybe. You can also change them to have kind of like a really giddy, crazy looking smile. You, know, you can change them to have kind of a anger face with a little vein coming down his forehead. You can give him kind of a sad frowny face. Oh, I'm sad. My hearts didn't come out the way I wanted them to. I'm very sad. And then a little shocked appearance. And also, not just that, but you can also, if this is too much, you, this is this guy's smiling way too big. You can take off some of the weight a little bit. See this weight right here? 50% weight. And he's got a little smile. It's not it's not creepy smile, though. You can also take it all the way down to 25 if you want to. And just say, hey, I'm showing my teeth a little bit. we got a little bit of a grin on, maybe. Maybe like 37. He looks friendly. Look at that. He looks like he he wa he wants to invite you out to a drink. You know he wants to um, play play uh, the latest sport game with you. And uh, here he's just like that 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 is creepy. That is that is the creepy smile. He he doesn't have anything good planned with that smile. So there we go. Back back to normal. No more creepy smile. Okay, there we go. So that is the face features. Now we're going to get into the body features. So we have to basically the character is going to go down to the the underwear and we have to modify the muscles and the skin tone and um, all that kind of stuff. His hair is back down but we're gonna go to the body mode. Uh, this will let us modify his body and we're gonna go with this is uh, if you don't have any parts selected you can modify the whole body at the same time. So if I want him to be really tall and really big I can make him really tall and really big. There you go he's kind of a giant guy and we can zoom out a little bit and it does a good job of making it look realistic. You make him really skinny, like beanpole. Is this guy's going to be a center on a basketball team? Or you make him really small. And he's like like bowling ball shaped now. Put the muscles in the middle. That looks pretty normal, right there. Take off the adjustable parts. That could look pretty good. So that's I mean, find your starting point. Find this is the way I want my character to look overall. And then say, okay, I want to start from here, and I want to tweak things. So start with doing the whole thing, and then tweak it after that. Um, and then you can click on individual parts and actually stretch them out or shrink them or do whatever you need to to them. So let's say, for instance, I want to make him um, really short with a regular body shape. And then I want to make him, I want to, I'm going to make his legs, his legs are already really short. I want to keep them really short, but I want to make his arms really long. I want the arms to kind of stretch down a bit. And they're stretching down basically to his knees. And so, big hands, big arms. We can 
shoulders vertical actually takes it takes the shoulders out so now he's looking kind of like big and buff and ginormous arms and i'm gonna basically his arms are clubs at this point um so that's kind of the way you can modify the shape then we go to muscle this is muscle tone and this you can actually add the the um tone of the muscle so how kind of I mean, this guy looks like he belonged on some kind of like magazine cover now with with you know all the muscle tone and everything so yeah photoshop for real or we can take that muscle tone off if it doesn't look right and go back to normal so let's just turn it all on and then we'll go to tattoo we can put on whatever tattoo we want whatever looks cool so for instance we got that tattoo we got that with like flames and everything but let's say like that tattoo looks cool but we want to move it Ah, uh, this was not mobile. Some of the tattoos are movable. Some of them are not. Looks like this one is movable. So we want to move that tattoo up, like on his chest or something. Right there. Let's make it a little smaller on the x-axis. Like that. And then maybe move it over a little bit onto a peck. There you go. Now you have that, that little tattoo. It's on, one of his, his, it's on his right peck. We can invert the color, we can change the density, we can make it pink, or red, or it doesn't seem to let us modify it too much, but we can we can give that kind of a cool look. See if we can zoom in on that a little bit. Oh, it's too close. So anyway, you see what I'm talking about. It's got a little flames coming off of it and things like that. Cool. And then we can go to edit pose, and we can actually pose him and see him in different poses by like moving his leg and all that kind of stuff. Say I want to like move the leg out. And put it up. Ah, need to bend leg. Bend leg. There we go. Leg go up. So now he's kind of the you know he got the Captain Morgan kind of stance a little bit. Da da da. From that commercial that used to be on TV a lot. Probably hasn't been on TV for like ten years. Uh, I d I don't have had t I haven't had cable television in like ten years so. I don't even know what commercials. I have no idea what commercials are on. I have no idea what TV shows are popular. Everything is internet for me. Um, so that's your customization of character. You see it actually modified the way he looks. His armor now stretches out. and his, his arms go way down and he looks he looks pretty good. He looks decent. He's kind of stocky. He's a little bowling ball shaped. He looks like he's, his legs didn't grow fully. But he looks like he could, he could stand up in a fight and do pretty well. I mean, look at these arms. You wouldn't want to mess with these arms, would you? And next, we can also uh, check out the different clothes. I forgot to check out the clothes on, uh, for these earlier. So that's the one we have on now. We can also check them out in different costumes. So here's some examples. Here's peasant clothes. Here's a little more leathery. Here's a little different looking. Different looking. Different. Different. And underwear. There you go. We can also view helmet. So if he would put his helmet on, he would look like that. And the, the visors can go up or down. So if you have a helmet on like this, it looks cool. But you can also raise the visor and let people see your face if that's a look that you prefer. And that pretty much covers the customization portion of this uh, of the character creator. We can now add a character name. We can call him whatever we want. And when we click Creation Complete, if our character name is not taken, then we'll have a character created. I'm not going to do one because I'm going to actually create a warrior later today. And since it takes three days to delete, I don't want to have to um, mess up and, and lose a character slot for the rest of the closed beta. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about character creation and would like for me to answer them, I'll be glad to answer them in, in the comments. Um, feel free to click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and check out the other tutorials if you want to learn more about this game and remember keep it clean